Hello there, everyone on the internet. I only take game. I take games super seriously, so let's get into this extremely serious, high tense game. We're gonna play Pack a Plus. It's one of them sim dating games about uh, Pack a. So let's go. <laughs> a violin melody can be heard in the distance. It's a pleasing sound. Summer in the highlands is calm and clear, with gentle breezes. As I stand on the grassy plains, still damp with morning dew, I quietly close my eyes, and I lend my ear to that refreshing melody. The love of my life is at my side. We hold each other's hands, wishing we could stay here, like this, forever. Huh? This is still summer vacation. Why is my alarm going up? I'm going back to bed. It is nearly halfway through summer vacation. I, Kasuma Saiki. Saiki? Saiki. 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 Cling greedily to my pillow and dreams, determined to sleep in. Mm. It's jamming. <laughs> the abrupt ring of my cell phone tears me away from my thoughts of laziness. Huh? Hello, Cosmo. Huh? Oh, Yukari, it's you. Are you up and out of bed? Yeah, um, the muff, I just woke up. What's going on? Why are you calling me? You know, we have to be at the school today to prepare for the school festival, right? Make sure you show up. I'm not going to let the audio run every time. It's just going to take too long. But this is, she sounds cute. Really? All right. Gotcha. Oh, jeez. Everything's going to turn out fine, right? Yeah. It will. I'll get ready right away. It seems the preparations for the school festival are starting today, even though we're in the middle of summer vacation. That sounds awful. So just not get summer vacation. It's all good. A single, you should do it too, Kazuma, for my girlfriend, Yukari, was all it took to make me a committee member. Or that's what I remember, at least. Well, I'll be waiting at the usual bus stop, okay? Make sure you eat breakfast! Yeah, yeah, you know, you sound like my mom. Jeez, if you have the time to joke around, then hurry up and get ready! I got it, but I want to joke around about things. I'll be at the usual spot, usual time. After Yukari's wake-up call, I quickly get ready and jump into, or rather, onto my sweet ride. This is just the bicycle I rush out of my house. Why is his bicycle in the house? Question of the day. Why is his bicycle in his house? Also, what do you think of this poster? I ride off to school, pedaling as hard as I can. Yukari shouldn't have uh, should have gotten on the bus at the usual time, so if I don't hurry, I'm gonna be late. <laughs> That's what I sound like when I walk out my front door. Out of breath and with sweat running down my brow, I'll make my way to the bus stop near the school. Here's actually a good question about that. People who ride their bike places arrive super sweaty. Don't ride your bike and drink, kids. I wait for the bus Yukari should be on as I catch my breath. A few minutes later, the bus comes right on schedule, and a long-haired girl steps out of the bus alone. She's so cute! I like her purple. I like the color purple, so... And especially in anime girl hair. She's so cute! She gives me a familiar bright smile with a familiar greeting. Her name is Yukari Izumi. Oh, she's so cute! We're both freshmen of class 1A of Psycho Psychoe Private High School. She's also my girlfriend. She has long, shimmering hair, doe eyes, and a delicate build. Why, why doe eyes? Scratch that. Question of the day. Why doe eyes? I, I don't, I don't get the expression. Question of the day. Now that makes you worry. You'd snap her in half if you hugged her too tightly. Basically, she's a girl so cute you'd feel like a waste on me. That's Yukari Izumi. Morning. 
Looks like you're still up. Uh, you're still sleepy. I'm indeed sleepy. I thought about going back to bed, but I couldn't keep Yukari waiting here by herself. Why would you say you're going to meet and then be like, oh, I'm just going to go back to bed. I got here in such a rush, there's no need to make anything of it. I changed the subject. By the way, Yukari, what was our class doing for the festival again? Oh, jeez, you don't remember at all. A maid cafe. Ooh. I want to see her in made up for no, <laughs> Oh, I see. That's right. No, uh, that was it. That face of yours says you don't remember it at all. No, 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 no. Yes. <laughs> I honestly have no such memory. We were both there when we decided on what to do, too. Yukari stares at me with an expression that hinges on astonishment. But... She nevertheless patiently describes the maid cafe that our class will be hosting. Things starting uh, started with someone in our class reminiscing about visiting the successful Akihabara maid cafe on his Tokyo vacation. And all the guys that threw their hands up in support and applauded. They threw their hands in the air because they seriously care about maid cafes. Uh, but they still had to get the girls on board. Surprisingly, the proposal was quickly approved because girls like cute things and a maid costume is super cute. The vast majority of girls agreed with comments such as, I've always wanted to wear a maid outfit. And actually, I do have something like that. Then our committee, uh, sadly, that was Kazuki. He's in the, he's a special friend. Uh, the, the committee leader, Ayaka Shinozawa, sealed the deal by saying, I'll make sure to prepare suitable maid uniforms for the girls in our class. Wait, does, do you guys wear like butler outfits? Uh, nobody was left to object, and the class merrily decided on doing a refreshment booth with Maid Cafe theme. Or so the story goes. I feel like the food stands is the option that involves lots of work and little game, profit wise. Wait, wouldn't food be like. No, because you have to buy ingredients and stuff like that, and you have to have it reasonably priced. What would be the most profitable one? Third question of the day. <laughs> but I'll be happy if it gets the Yukari and made, out, uh, made clothes. As we talk about it, the school we attend comes into view. Looking up at the sky, the sunshine is getting stronger. The glaringly hot summer sun is merciless. Seems like today is going to be another hot one. <sighs> Community leader Shinozawa is waiting in the classroom by herself when we arrive. M uh, morning, Shinozawa. You're early as usual. Uh, hi, uh... <laughs> Seki. Psyche. A E E. A E. Saeki. Saeki. Yukari. Ayaka, ohayo. Good morning, Ayaka. As always. <sighs> I don't know what's voice to do. Um. I want you to be like super sassy. As always, you two seem to be getting along pretty well. This resource committee leader who easily realized the boys collective desires of maid cafe is considered by most of the class to be level-headed and earnest however i know that she is a hardcore uniform maniac wow yukari told me that she knows how i can't resist cute outfits obviously her collection doesn't just include the uniforms of nearby high schools restaurants and maybe <laughs> awesome maid cafes uh it ever it even goes so far as having the real ones actually at housekeepers of England nobility war. Wait, made clothes or like what they would wear back then? That's just like fancy clothes. Or like a Victorian era. I've heard rumors of a special costume room that she has at her at home, but the truth is the truth of that claim is beyond even Yukari's understanding. You're getting along so well. I feel like the classroom's temperature is rising. What? We could never think about that. Wait. We could never do... What could we do about that, Ka? We <laughs> can't read. <laughs> Yukari looks at me for help. But Yukari, you're very mistaken if you think you can always get help from me. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, hey, hey, whoa. Hey, if you don't cut it out, your car will get embarrassed and heat this room up even more. I'm not going to have him do that accent the whole time. Not you too. 
one more committee member arrives late. Uh, oh, whoops! I've got more important things to do. We can pick up on we can pick on Yukari more later. Without bits, wink. Trill is called temporary ceasefire for now and pick up again after the meeting. What? More later? You don't mean to? All right, let's start the first meeting. Yes, as a member of the organization or organizing committee, I'm getting fired up. Hey, listen to me. Meeting starts amidst Yukari's adorable protest. Uh, the meeting's. Oh wait, never mind. Well, uh, that should be that should do it for today. This is only our first meeting, but Shinazawa had already detailed things so minutely it ended quickly. You really command things like a military strategist. Maybe I should start calling you Kong Ming. <laughs> Uh, let me handle rallying the people. Sail should be just fine as well. Uh, I wouldn't want to get on your bad side. Thank you. Flattery will get you. An uh, flattery won't get you anywhere, you know. I didn't mean to flatter her, but she seems so high in spirits after seeing everything go as planned. It's odd how it like repeats the text. After that quick meeting, we leave Shinozawa and go out for a stroll through the town. At the shopping center in front of the station, we try to hide from the hot rays of the sun and we go... Wouldn't the sun, like... Hot, 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 hot. Because I think those are, like, ceiling lights. Those cut down on the use of light bulbs, though. Uh, we try to hide from the sun's hot rays and go in the record store. Yo, it's Antonio R. No egg cake wedding is special cakes cookie decorations. Just got like the Coca Cola font. They could get sued for that. I hope they don't. Oh my god! What? It's, it's so many cheeseburgers. One, two, three, four. It's a quadra stack of cheeseburger. Nice. Now we go through the arcade in the fast food place. I took a gold soda in a well air conditioned room. Yukari doesn't like soda, so she's sipping iced tea daintily. Daintily through a straw. A fleeting moment the, in the evening of the hot summer. I'm looking forward to the school festival. Yeah, I can't wait to see you in a made outfit. Jeez, you pervert. But I'm surprised you accepted wearing maid clothes. No qualms about it. Girls all wish they could transform. Transform! Ding. Okay, I can't. I don't actually know, like, the um, Sailor Moon transformation stuff, but imagine that. Is that how it goes? So, you do even want to try being someone else, Yukari? <laughs> well, I wonder. I don't really understand girls' difficult feelings, but if she says so, then it's probably right. Oops! It's already this late. I need to head home. Yukari looks at her watch. Oh, you're right. As we trade silly jokes, time passes us by. It's not that we're doing anything or going anywhere in particular, but just being together makes it a wonderful time. Such times are small and simple, but unique to the lives of wholesome students, and just being able to experience them is enough for me. Because you don't live in the boonies like I do, where uh, there's one area you can go to and it's always filled with drug addicts. It's not fun. At all. Well then, be careful getting home. Yeah, you too, Kazuma. Watch out for cars! Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Well then, see you tomorrow. See you then. Oh my god, two days in a row during summer vacation? They have like two weeks off! After seeing Yukari off at the best stop, I pedal my way home. Look up at the uh, red-tinted sky while pedaling. I see a single white clown floating in the... Floating not that far off the ground, it looks to me like a sheep or a camel for some reason or another. Ha! <laughs> oh my god, that's like really close. Right now, it is, uh... I'll, I'll, I'll spoil the reality of it. It's August, it's August 10th. So that's like really close. Cosmo, get the bill for table three, please. Who the hell is that? Roger. You can take a break once you'll do Uh, what's his mustache say? You can take a break once you'll know. There's a little coffee shop hidden next to the rest the residential area, not too far from the station. Black Cat Cafe. 
I've been helping out the shop for far longer than I've attended this school. I wasn't really a part-time job, rather my family has been on good terms with the people there since I was little, so they're nice to me as well. And when I saw how busy the owner was, I just started helping out here and there. During my childhood years, I ended up coming to the Black Cat instead of the park whenever I, could find a, whenever I couldn't find a place to play. So now I'm closer to the owner than ever, my, than even my own father, who never really played with me much. Oh, that's sad. The owner, Akio Mitaka, runs the shop with two daughters, but there are times when he'll take any, when he'll take any help he can get. Thank you very much. Now then, I've just seen off the last customer, and now it's just me and the owner inside the shop. It's strange how large the inside of the shop feels when there's only the two of us here, since it's a rather small cafe. Oh, uh, wait. So you're having a maid's cafe at your school? I'm, uh, wait, I'm just chatting with the owner since there isn't much of anything else to do. Yeah, it's just suddenly happened, so I've been bogged down with preparing for the festival. Students are the men invited to school festivals after all. Make sure to do it properly. Please don't add on more pressure. Hey now, you can't go half-heartedly into this. You'll, uh, if you've got any concerns, I'll gladly listen. After all, I know a thing or two about cafes. Really? I can think of a certain someone that would love hearing that, actually. As I said that, I imagine a grinning Shinozawa saying, I'll take it up on that. I guess, back here. So, like, the cakes from the maid cafe, how much time do I need to make them and how much should we spend on ingredients? Well, it's not so much the time as the equipment. Will you be able to use that kitchen? No, the cooking club is reserved the kitchen. We have to prepare everything in our classroom. So, getting ovens will be difficult. Then we'll need to buy one of from somewhere. If so, then our expense will be pretty high. The owner folds his arms and goes, <laughs> This is just a suggestion, but what if a black cat was to supply cakes for the festival? What, are you sure? The sudden suggestion surprised me. In fact, the Black Cat Cafe cake sets are known to be delicious even around the neighborhood. So much so that they've been featured in magazines before. Customers would definitely love having these cakes in the maid cafe. Uh, yeah, if, the, if you could leave black cat business cards near the register in return, that'd be great. Now, that won't be a problem at all. I think we'll need quite a bit, though. Will that be fine? This is for you, Kazuma. It'll, uh, I'll work it out. Thanks. Can we go over the details next time? Shall see. I'll tell Shinozawa, Shinozawa about this later. I don't want to give the owner too much trouble, but, well, this is Shinozawa we're talking about, so it should be fine. And the owner, uh, and there's one more thing I want to check on with the owner. Boss, can I have time off at the end of the month? My shift is Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, but it can be changed freely depending on how, depending on my and the owner's situation. The end of the month, August 31st, is actually Yukari's birthday. Since it's her birthday, I'd rather be by her side than working. Of course it's fine. Is there something you're doing? It's Yukari's birthday, so I was thinking of taking her somewhere nice. I see, how fun. But not too much fun, so they furnish my- <gasps> There's a kitty cat in the window! <laughs> very much. Actually, there's something related that I want to talk to you about. Ask you about. But will that be? I was thinking about getting her some type of present. Okay. Oh, what do girls like getting? Ah, well, uh, controversy that gift from Yukari would make... Well, what gift from Yukari would make you happy, Kazuma? Even though I'm asking him, I get a question and response. Uh, me? Hmm. I don't really have anything in particular I want. I think I'd like anything Yukari picks out for me. That, that is your answer. So you're saying it's really the thought that counts. That's what I believe. Sadly, I am a lonely man here. Get her jewelry, maybe. <laughs> she likes music, so maybe we'll find her some violin-related accessories. The owner smiles and disappears behind the counter. Probably going to check on the coffee beans. Probably going to check on the coffee beans. <laughs> uh, welcome. Oh, Yukari, it's you. It's you? Is that any way to treat a customer? I don't think that was her voice. Uh, understood, madame. Uh, understood, madame. Would this seat be adequate? I lead her to a seat near the window and I say that. <gasps> yes, we're able to get a crap. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. Uh, may I please take your order? Well, 
it's a little late, but I believe I shall take my lunch. Fetch me today's lunch menu! The A combo comes with it. Carbonara, whereas the B combo... Anyway, it's a rice omelette. Omelette de the rice? Uh, both come with complimentary salad and drink. Salad and rice? And an omelette? Egg, rice, and salad just doesn't sound good. I know eggs sometimes in salads, but it's like hard-boiled eggs, not cooked eggs. Ugh. Then I'll take the rice omelette be set. Uh, I need to go for that. You really like your rice omelette. You know, because the shop's fluffy, melty rice omelet is so good. Uh, as to be expected from a regular, quite the discerning eye. It'll be here shortly. Boss, be combo, order up. Uh, sorry, my hands are filled right now. Can you make it cosume? Roger. As you heard. Wait, as you heard. Oh, you're making it for me today? I shall not disappoint, madame. Okay. I put on my apron and sh as I head to the kitchen. Sometimes I have to wheel the frying pan instead of the owner is busy roasting the beans. I practice cooking fluffy melty rice omelets so often that it's now my forte. And you know what? That transition's perfect. Absolutely perfect. We'll be back in the next episode of this. Let me know what you guys think um, of how you're enjoying it. And, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button if you really enjoy it. You can always subscribe, that way you're notified about this. And there's that little bell. Just click that button and you'll get, like, actually notified in case YouTube craps out and decides no one to notify you. That's always a thing. But thank you very much, everyone. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.